Hello everybody, welcome to the score study of Wie Lieblich sind Deine Wohnungen by Johannes Brahms. How lovely is the dwelling place? I'm going to go kind of fast uh, with the intro because we have a lot to look at. So this piece premiered on December 1st, 1867. It had some revisions after that. It was said to be Brahms's most ambitious vocal music. Um, Brahms began to write this cantata of mourning for his friend, another composer, Robert Schumann, who died in 1856. And then his mom passed away about 11 years later, so he really wanted to finish it. His text wasn't the traditional Roman Catholic Mass for the dead. He was Protestant, and he chose the German text from Martin Luther's Bible instead, from the Lutheran religion. Uh, there's no fire and brimstone movement in this work. Brahms keeps the comfort of God throughout. It begins tranquil, and then the fugue rejoices. All right, altos, here we go. It's going to be kind of fast, so hold on tight. <laughs> We're going to start with the key signature here. Uh, as soon as it focuses, there we go. We have three flats. Um, the last flat is fa. And that's on the second space from the bottom. So if you count down, it was kind of hard to write this. Fa, mi, re, do. Okay, so then do is on the bottom line. And that note is E, but there's a flat. So we call it key of E flat. And then we have three, four as a time signature. And that means there are three beats per measure. And we already know that our starting pitch is Do. The bottom line is Do in this song. Here in measure 9 we have a Fi. Normally that's a flat, so the natural makes it a Fi. Everything's good over here. Measure 20, you have a Ri, because there's a sharp. Going down here is the tenor solo. And we have pickup to 35. Again, we have a re. Measure 36, D, D, I, and a re. We're good so far. Uh, here we're in measure 46. That's a so. It's a little bit low, so sometimes hard to tell. And then we have a D, D, I. Here we go, measure 52, D, I, D. Then 54, T. Next one is Me. And then we have a Mi. The natural sign makes it go back to Mi. Measure 60 is our next, ex next accidental. It's a V. Measure 61. The third note there with the sharp is going to be a Lee. Measure 67, we have a Re. And 68 is a Re. 67, the second note is Re. And 70, we have a Me. Same thing with 71. 72, Le. Then back down to the Me. And then we have t a bunch of t's. T t t t t. Hmm, that was a long pause that time. Alrighty, seventy six. We have a fee, and then you have another fee there because the accidental stays the same through the bar line. And then a fee in 77, a fee in 78, a fee in 79. Bunch of fees. Like life. <laughs> We're good over here. Bunch of do, mi, fa, mi, fa. Uh, here's so. And then you have the fee in uh, 94. Uh, I can't see the measure. But there we have the C. 107 is back to so. That flat tells us that it goes back. 117, you have a C. Uh, 
And 119 is a so. 121, me, with that flat. 122, back to me. We're good, we're good. Zooming around. Everything's looking good. Oh, here we go. Measure 140 is a te. 141 is a fi. Make sure you hold out those ties. Here we go, 151. Le. And then you carry that over. So it's just six beats of le. And 160, that's a te. 161 meh, 162 meh, 163 meh, and a meh. <laughs> Another meh. 166, that's a fee. 167, you know that. 168, te. 169, t. And that brings us to you. are going to end on a me. The end.